Today, smooth sailing. It is a cold morning, patchy fog possible. Otherwise, expecting partly sunny skies. Here's a peek at our lunchtime temperatures. At this point, most spots are close to 40 degrees. Low to mid 40s through the afternoon with just a few clouds passing through the area. Into tonight, clouds will begin increasing. So as we approach first thing Friday morning, a mostly cloudy start to the day. Temperatures, they'll be in the 30s as you're out the door early. Friday morning, early afternoon, we stay dry. Now as we head toward Friday evening, the chance for a rain and eventually a snow shower will start to increase. Your Friday evening commute, I'm not expecting any big problems. Into Friday night, we're going to see a quick transition over to all snow and snow showers will become likely moderate to heavy snow through early Saturday morning. Temperatures are dropping, so we'll start the morning in the 20s. Temperatures continue to fall into the teens. Let's talk about how much snow you can expect Friday night through the day on Saturday. Anywhere from three to six inches will be a possibility. Now we'll also have the potential for some lake effect snow through the day on Friday, so that could lead to some additional accumulations through the day. As far as what you can expect today, all is quiet for now. Partly sunny. Temperatures will be in the low to mid 40s this afternoon. Turning breezy, winds out of the northwest 10 to 15 miles per hour. Clouds increase tonight. We'll drop back into the 20s. Mostly cloudy skies into the day on Friday with the chance for a few showers late day. That snow becomes likely Friday night into Saturday. Saturday, temperatures will start in the 20s and they'll be dropping into the teens. It's going to be very gusty. Wind gusts of 30 to 35 miles per hour will be possible. So we'll have the potential for some blowing and drifting snow. That snow moves out of here by Saturday midday. Sunday, we're left with just the chance for a few isolated showers, and then we're quickly warming up. By early next week, we're back to the 50s.